Hello guys and welcome to another Real Connect episode here in U4 MNT 2.0. Uh, we have a claim, well we don't have a claim but I can make a claim against the Grey Horde so that's probably going to be on the agenda you know invading him fucking his shit up taking his provinces and everything he holds there because that's what we do here in the Mongol Horde. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I want this province I think see is this Uzbekistan for Gant like is this the same s yeah this is all the same state although s well actually whether or not it's a, in a state or not doesn't actually matter because the the amount of promises we can actually have as states are kind of pitiful so it's not actually that relevant I mean these provinces are all about trade so I guess that's what we should look into here like where's the Silk Road the Silk Road I mean I mean the Silk Road is all over the place presumably um, well, not, not all over the place, but there are certain, you know, routes. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if these arrows here were inspired by the Silk Road. Uh, but yeah, you, you got like Kokan Silk Road, Tashkent Silk Road, so we want that. We want this salt. There's some urban goods over here. Yeah, tiny little city. Uh, and there's actually some decent fertility in these regions here. So, yeah, Tashkent has huge fertility. Holy ballsack, there's a lot of people in Tashkent. Well, we're definitely taking Tashkent then. Even if, well, even if it doesn't actually give us much, because, I mean, these provinces are all going to have 100% autonomy anyways, so the actual tax income won't matter. But, uh, I mean, if I guess if we can increase the, you know, the size of the city, or we can get a nice little trade center over here. Maybe, nah, well, I don't think I'll build the regional capital all out there. That'll have to be more more, more down here. I'm not really sure yet. Maybe, maybe Bukhara could be the, the capital. Or the, you know, the far eastern capital. Or maybe it should be, like, it becomes a bit of a mess, right? Because it looks like this is just one big area. But it's actually like, um, it's actually sort of split into this little circle of territories here. Surrounding Kazilkum. Um... That's how that works. Although, speaking of institutions, uh, we are actually getting decently close to finally getting banking. Of course, we'll have to save up a fuck ton of money to get it, and I don't know. But you can see here that 10% um, of the Mongol population have uh, gotten the thing. But I guess we need, like, you know, a bit more, like, we need 1% over, I guess, 10% or something like that. Yeah, it needs to be embraced in at least 10% of our autonomy modified population, but it is only embraced in 10%. I assume the game isn't showing the, you know, there's some rounding up or down or something that's, you know, causing this to look a bit silly, but I assume that once it once it gets spread to, you know, this province, for example, this lovely Mongol province we got down here, um, it should work out. So yeah, that's another thing that happened in the previous episode. Mongol culture started spreading, so hopefully we'll get some nice spread throughout these territories. So even if Mongol culture is a pitifully small culture in, um, you know, in the in the homeland, it is now yeah that's actually a, that's actually a fact of life. I think there are more Mongols living in the Ilkhanate than in Mongolia at this point, because one of the provinces has 64 population. Because of the hugeness of Tabriz, and I, I mean, I have barely upgraded Tabriz at all. I don't even know where these people are coming from, or why there are so many people there. Like, yeah, it's way, way oversaturated, so I, I doubt that it'll stay this way. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy stuff. I mean, yeah, there, two thousand people came here last year, even if it's like super oversaturated. I guess we have gotten super lucky with the plagues and shit like that. Um, but that is, that, that is what it is. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Like, Bukhara would make for a nice, you know, regional capital. Mainly because, it you know, it, it's an actual city here. Although whether... Well, yeah, because you do need a certain bit of infrastructure, I think, before you can actually build a regional capital. Expand the bureaucracy. Yeah, we can actually do it right now. I wish to construct a regional capital here some urban gravity but I'm pretty sure if we if we click some random province actually bulk bulk might be the regional capital because it is equally as large but it has a fort and it's it's a bit more you know central to this whole area 
Do we have roads going? Well, I, I, I don't know if roads will even matter at all. But maybe bulk. Maybe bulk can be the capital. Or maybe even Harat. Could uh, Harat be the um, the capital? Yes, it can. So we can build a um, we can build a. Should we just do that right now? Let's just do that right now. Fuck it. Let's not think too hard about it. Harat is now a regional capital. I sh and we need a better name for this. Tell me in the comments. I need like. If I got any Mongolian viewers or otherwise Mongolian speaking viewers, what's the because um, I know the, the the Chinese like to do this right? Like Beijing, doesn't that just mean uh, northern capital? That's not Beijing. Where's Beijing? Maybe it has a different name, uh, and that's why I can't see it. Or maybe I have autism. I think each of the two things are equally as likely. Although here we have a huge ass city called uh, Khan Balik. Maybe that's what the Mongols renamed it and the Chinese never got around to um, they never got around to changing it back? I don't know. But doesn't Beijing just mean northern capital and then like Nanjing or something just means southern capital? It would be cool if we could do like a similar thing in the uh, Ilkhanate. We could have like the eastern capital and then the um, the, the northern capital, I don't know. <laughs> I guess they are kind of equal in... Is it longitude or latitude? I really should know that. I well, Yeah, my, my English skills aren't the greatest when it comes to that kind of shit. Anyways, I'm blabbering on here. Point is, we now have a... Oh, wow, it just constructed immediately. Oh, okay then. But yeah. Regional capital in Harat, so we'll, we'll see how that impacts our income, though. I should have checked my... my capital maintenance to see. So it's 35 now. Will it go up as we proceed here? Uh, so it was 35. Got a tick now. No, that didn't change at all. So I guess it just... it added it in immediately. Hey, we now long we no longer have a hundred percent autonomy though. That's that's cool. How is the autonomy in these provinces now? Is, is it like uh, is it changing at all? Nah. Hey, more Syrians, sweet. But yeah, no, <laughs> Herat is like the only province with any sort of reduced autonomy here. But there are some provinces here though that actually don't have a billion autonomy. So maybe building it over here was smart. Because I guess we just have to accept that these far, far eastern promises will never ever have any sort of autonomy reduction. So building it a bit closer to Persia, uh, that is smart. Yes, I'm pleased with my decision making. So now we will just move on. Our advisor has died. See, now that's not good. Especially since we can't, well actually no, we can't hire a, another cheap ass dude. Like, fuck you, I'm not going to pay a bunch of money for some f fucking cunt also known as a uh, advisor. Uh, the Bay of Liva, Ooh, what is this? Seed Liva to Elkanate, and we're gonna quarrel on it. Or we do not negotiate with him. Ghazi warriors have seized control of Liwa from the Yasai Sheik in a daring raid. Now they turn to the great Sultana and offer to pledge fealty to her in return for recognition of their brave deeds by granting them titles to the land they have seized. Fuck, where's this? Oops. Lee. See, I don't. Lee Wa. How would I. Um... Alright, 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 I found it. It's down here. Do we want this? Sure. I mean, it's a free province, right? <laughs> Give it to the trader company. I mean, it just, yeah, it just looks a bit weird, but it was bound to look weird anyways, wasn't it? So, I don't know. And we can always just abandon it if I change my mind. Hey, we can finally get this province. That is good. Sad thing about martial law being removed up here, though, of course, is the fact that they now want to revolt. Which saddens me quite a bit. Okay, I'm going to invade the Grey Horde now. I'm not sure if I'll actually make them a vassal in this war. Because I've, I've become a bit more, you know, 
it's it's harder now to know whether or not I even want them as a vassal because I mean in the long run it would be nice but right now um, I would have to like I would have to you know fight Mogulistan in order to expand him but that's not really a, you know a possibility because I I don't want to fight Ming I don't even if I could I, I don't even know if I could beat the Ming I really doubt so actually I mean they got better technology they got a population that's many times bigger than mine is so I don't even know man now, a lot of the nerf uh, stuff for Ming isn't is not in the game yet at least I think so so they they won't be quite this strong later on once the mod keeps developing but right now things are ever so slightly crazy you know a little bit just a little bit entirely crazy. Uh, also, interesting thing happened. Uh, the Hafsi decided to invade Egypt without me getting involved. Uh, well, I mean, I, they didn't ask me to get involved even. However, Egypt or the Mamluks were, were actually able to fight back. Ooh, hello. Yeah, metalwork industry specializes. Where's this? Lose money in wealth. But where? Sultania. Really? I don't even know where that is. Sultania. Well, this province. Is there a city here? Oh, there's a city here! Holy shit, that's a big city! Who built this? I didn't build this. This is a good city though, you know? It's got small autonomy. Lovely, I mean, maybe I built the road here, but honestly... I guess this just a this would just happen to be a city that existed before I showed up. Jewelry or steel? Fuck. See, this is the kind of decision making. I the the wiki. Well, maybe the wiki is good now, but it wasn't last time I checked, and as a result, I um, I still do not really know what the different you know products actually give you. But I do, I do assume that steel has something to do with military. Do we have any such modifiers? Capital building... Oh Jesus, looks like the capital building thing just kicked in. Yeah, there we are, now I'm paying a lot more for capital maintenance. Well, that's spooky, but um... Uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll, see in the, we'll, we'll see if that proves itself to be worthwhile. If it is just completely useless, I'll just tear the building down. Not that big of a deal, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, let's look at the modifiers again. Got uh, capital building state bonus. Oh, interesting. Because I did get a new state, and I wondered where that was coming from. Uh, instead of actually putting it over here in Herat, though, I decided to put it in Silesia, so that was maybe a bit dumb, but... I don't know. Maybe actually statifying this place would have actually, you know, allowed some of these places to become, um, not so autonomous. But, uh, meh. Meh. That's all I can say to that. There's no way to undo it, so we're just gonna have to endure. Decent development. Ooh, really? Despite this huge size, we're decently developed. I haven't even looked into that. Timber supplier, improved concert of the people, respectable court. That's another thing. We may, I maybe I should actually invest a bit more in education and shit like that. I've not been paying attention to that kind of stuff. How is our tol tolerance, anyways? And it's actually kind of meh at best. What's the what's the max again? Is it yeah? Okay, never mind. The max is three, so it's not that bad. Humanist. The, why is the um? No, we do have max secularism. I guess we have. Where do we see piety though? Current piety. No, that, that is it. Okay, never mind. I'm just being stupid. Yeah, we have max. Yeah, we currently have max pi uh, max secularism. So how come, how come we are not tolerating people as hard as I would like? Secularism and plus two, humanist, duh -duh. I, I forget what I was planning, didn't I? Is there anything I can do to just bump it up ever so slightly more? Guess not. 
I mean, we will get some more tolerance of the true face. We'll bump this one up to, you know, 3 point something, 3.7, but that's not mind-blowing. Yeah, I guess the problem is I never, I never did successfully, you know, I was never able to convert to another religion, you know, a better religion with more fancy bonuses. Regardless, so I don't know what these things do, but I'm going to do steel because that strikes me as, you know, something that would maybe give me... Um, something uh, something something you know improved army and shit like that that's what I want uh, I mean jewelry might be good but uh, I I would prefer prefer uh, an awesome army to fight the Ottomans and shit because I think they yeah they want they they won their war against Naples and shit like that and they have retaken Bosnia and um, yeah actually never mind they took Bosnia for the first time I guess because they didn't have course on that previously so yeah, the downfall of Naples, oh my. I don't know what they did to fuck up the, the first war, but the Turks are coming back, so maybe we should invade them soon. Not even to take a line, but just to just to fuck them up a bit, you know. But it's such a pain in the ass, man. I'm going on vacation in like two days. I don't want to have to deal with fighting Turks right now, you know. I want to chill. I want to relax. And uh, fighting Turkey just doesn't strike me as very relaxing. Damn! I can't even ask for all the provinces I want. So yeah, no, we're definitely not turning him into a vassal this war. Fuck! That's a... Holy ballsack! That's a lot of aggressive expansion. Why do I get so much? 75? For the Grey Horde? The Grey Horde? I mean, that's, that sounds like a... Fucking dystopian disease, you know? That's like this is like grayscale. Or maybe like a fantasy disease, you know? Like, well, grayscale. I don't know. This is bullshit. Being you being bullshitty, Grey Horde. But uh we 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 will take what we what we get, you know. This will do. Man. these these borders are kinda nice actually. I wish I could just like cut this stupid uh, wasteland here in half. Color this shit in and uh, leave this uncolored. Also, I got a comment because uh, in, in in one of the previous episodes, I was uh, I was complaining about how I didn't like the fact that Sara Al Nifud, this bronze right here, is colored in. And uh, one person told me that I can turn off colored wastelands in the comment section, <laughs> not in the comment section, <laughs> in the in the settings. And I do, I do know about that. Point is, though, or the problem is, is that if I turn it off, it'll turn off the wasteland color for all provinces, and I, I don't want that. I just dislike this specific wasteland to be colored. Like I, I don't mind, you know. Well, I almost demand like uh, Al Jazeera uh, to be colored in, because it's gonna look very stupid if it if it is not colored in. Uh, just don't like this province, you know. So. Because this province sort of it, it, the border makes it so that it sort of it, it forces me almost to conquer all of the Arabian Peninsula, which was something I did not want to do. Because that gives me very much sort of a caliphate look to my empire, and I would much prefer sort of a greater Persia type look, you know, or a Achaemenid uh, look, you know, the Achaemenid Empire, maybe maybe a bit larger, you know, expand into Greece, maybe could be fun. And you know, every, 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 if you know anything about history, you know that the Achaemenids never, never successfully pulled that one off. Well, I mean, they they did take you know uh, this area, although this area is today part of Turkey, so I guess it's, <laughs> I guess in that sense they didn't even, yeah, they they didn't they 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 did not successfully take any you know of modern uh, Greece. Well, actually, I think they did subdue the. Uh, you know the uh, Macedonia, basically, or Macedonia. Uh, but I th yeah, I, I've been listening to a podcast, by the way. It's called the History of Ancient Greece. I'm pretty sure. I t you know I would definitely recommend it. Uh, it is not the best history podcast, but it is good. It's up there with you know the the good ones. I mean, there aren't that many bad ones, but well, there are presumably. But I don't listen to them, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Shortage of missionaries, sure. See, I don't... Why would I lose prestige for that, though? Well, fuck it. Don't know. Uh, we, we can endure. 
We are, we are doing so many awesome things that we can handle it. So I think I'm actually going to keep these fortresses. I mean, they're expensive and all, but uh, they, uh, they are useful to kill the infinite amount of rebels that will presumably eventually pop up over here. Oh god, is that the... Oh, did we just burn Tashkent to the ground? Fuck, why didn't I limit looting? I totally forgot to limit looting. Damn it. Like, the city's not going to give us any tax income, but it, it could have given us, like, a trade center thingy. You know? Oh well. I would love to do that. Isn't there... Like, where is the trade center in this region? I assume it's, um... It's over here, maybe? Yeah, important center of trade. That's only a 9k city. I mean, we can we can out, we can beat that. We can we can go further than that. Thing is, I mean, the, the easiest thing would just be to fucking burn Almaty to the ground. But once again, the Mogulistan is um, it's, uh, it's a vassal of the Ming, so that's not really super realistic, is it? So now I'm not really sure what to do. I want to invade Egypt, but uh, I mean, I even have Casas Belli for it. But uh, there's a lot of aggressive expansion lying around. The Turks are back below 50 though, so that's nice. But I think I'll want to wait a little bit. Just so that I can take a fuck ton of land from them without the Turks getting too angry at me. I also wouldn't mind uh, taking some more territories. Actually, yeah, that's what that's the thing I want to do. I want to, I want to take these provinces from Muscovy. They're currently being sieged down by Sunni fanatics. Which is fine. <coughs> It'll make it easier for me to re-siege later. And believe it or not, I can actually, um, I can actually, um, uh, fabricate a claim on it. Should be able to do that any day now. Because I have a very slight coastline here to the Sea of Azov. That'll let me fabricate a claim on, um, Copa. Kind of wish you could, uh, you should be able to sort of fabricate claims on behalf of your vassals. That would be nice. Uh, but that's not really a thing right now. Because I have people I want to invade. I, you know, I want to expand the borders of my vassals, but I can't do that. Like, I, there's no way for me to get a cast spell -y. <laughs> Hmm. Well. Well. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm dying. Oh man. Oh, slurp, slurp. Ah, man. Ah, oh, that's some salt inducing shit right there. Ah, uh, really? See, <laughs> I guess I understand now. <laughs> the guy in the comment section who was questioning. Whether or not making vassals out of hordes was that smart. Because this is... <clears throat> well, fuck invading Russia then. That's not going to be a thing, is it? Shit! <sighs> really? Well, fuck you then. I don't want you as a vassal anymore. Fuck off. Seriously, I'm salty now. Vogue March. No. Just stop being a vassal. Fuck off. Where's the fuck off button? Shouldn't it be an influence? Contributory. Um. The fuck? Where's the button? Guess I'll have to revoke March. Minus one stability? Fuck off! Fuck off, game. Do I have to do that? Fine, man. Fuck the stability. See, now I can break it. Jesus. Oh. Break rationalization. Fuck these. See, now I'm salty. Then I feel like I have a... A justified reason to be salty. We with you, scumbags. So, at least we have learned something. Do not vassalize hordes in MNT 2.0. <coughs> because they just break apart. I mean, I guess I should have seen that coming. Is this... Uh, why? He's a connet as well. How come... How come he gets to be a stable and, you know, 
a thing. Well, so fucking blue horde, why didn't you call me into this? Like, why didn't you be like, oi, half my country just broke away. Maybe, maybe, oh, I don't know. I should call my fucking overlord in to help out. God damn it. When do I get my next ability? Um, or, uh, I should get it right now, actually. Still, though, or maybe it's 150 to get one stability point. I forget. But yeah, uh, now changing plans. Also, aren't shit. This is actually really annoying because I think I think um, I think custom custom vessels. What are they called? Client states. I think client states are broken in this version of the game. I don't think you can have client states in uh, MNT. Maybe they fixed that now, but maybe not. Tech 34, oh. oh, I mean, even if it isn't broken, there's, n oh, there's n well, I mean, I guess uh, for the people who were being annoyed at me for taking over these territories directly, it proved itself to be kind of useful because I can't actually hold the territories indirectly because every nation in this general area are all hordes, so they would all have this problem of just breaking apart. I assume the leader died or something. And as a result, he was unable to keep his nation together. But fuck it, let, let the steps burn. And I'll focus on more interesting things. That pisses me off, man. I, uh, I need a drink. Maybe, maybe some whiskey. Just to calm my nerves. Or something. I don't know. Whoa! Alright! Our ruler just died. Uh, lose piety. Wait. Normally you have to spend admin power in order to lose piety, but it seems like this guy... The, gr the new great sultan is an unbeliever who refuses to participate in rituals, leaving that to the priest instead. May he rule wisely. Awesome. Uh, the great sultan is dead, so we're getting like spend a fuck ton of money on that, which is annoying because I just spent some money getting some cash, or I mean, <laughs> oh man, let's all just take a moment to respect that glorious sentence. <laughs> I spent some money to get cash. I tried to say I spent some money to build another army. Uh, but yeah. Uh, oh, okay, so this this is the new guy, and yeah, he's pretty good, pretty good. Decent, decent, and they are decent as well. I like the military score, so yeah. Uh, do we have anything fun? Decentralize? We're not going to do that. That's the only new thing we could potentially do. I mean, yeah, yeah, we have zero stability, but shouldn't that pop up soon? What do you mean stability threshold 200? It's supposed to be like 100 or something. I could have sworn that that was supposed to be the case. But uh, it's not. So, uh, yeah. I think I'll actually end the episode here though, so thanks so much for watching this episode, and until next time, bye.